Good morning, the friends. Welcome to Coffee with Colette, episode two. I want to talk to you guys today about something that I have struggled with my entire life and I thought that coffee with Colette would be a great way to do it. I have been struggling with overthinking, overthinking to the point that it really affects my life from very young. I want to tell you a little bit about why I think it started and then go from there. So when I was really little. I had a pretty traumatic childhood. There was a lot of things that happened. When I was really young, my parents divorced. My dad was pretty absent. And then he totally left at 10. And there was a lot of other stuff that went on in that time period. Also, I began really focusing on body image. I started struggling with emotional eating in that time frame as well. And I started to go in my head to cope. So I would like use my imagination and tell stories and kind of like make a better life in my head, telling like fairy tales and stories with me as like the main character. I've never told anyone this before, um, only Sassy knows, no one on YouTube or anything, so you guys are hearing it right now. Um, It's really weird to be sharing this, but I think what happened was then I started to live in my head as a coping mechanism and it started to turn from stories to cope to anxiety and overthinking. Overthinking that takes me away from my day and actually impairs my functioning where I'll get stuck in my head worrying about things and I'll lose like 20 or 30 minutes of my day and realize, oh my gosh, like I'm running late because I was stuck overthinking and worrying. It's overthinking and anxiety. Basically, it's anxiety. It gets me to overthink so much. I'll be watching a movie and get stuck in anxiety and I'll miss the entire movie. I'll have watched it but I won't really know what it was about. And I've I struggled with this and I think that's also why I turned to emotional eating because it was so much going on in my head that I started using food to cope instead. But the anxiety never went away and if you don't know I lost 130 pounds and so did my husband Kyle or sassy as I like to call him and we've kept it off for six years and once I stopped once I lost the weight and I stopped using food to cope um, the anxiety it, it sort of went away when I used the food but then it came back after I lost the weight and I'm so proud of myself for losing the weight and I'm glad the anxiety came to the surface. This might sound weird, but because now I am ready to deal with it. After getting stuck in overthinking and anxiety for so long, I'm 38 and like 30 years of my life with anxiety and overthinking, I'm done with it. I am ready to drop all of the silly things that I worry about and even the non-silly things that I worry about. I'm really realizing lately that life is so short, I don't want to put myself through this misery anymore of worrying and worrying all the time. It affects my sleep. I'll be up for hours overthinking or worrying. For example, um, yesterday I filmed the vlog and I lost a few hours of sleep because I was worried about how I was going to introduce the vlog. And th I know that sounds so silly, but those are the things that I, I focus on and I fixate on them. And then I lose sleep. 
I lose moments that I could be enjoying movies with people that I love, like Sassy, because I'm so stuck in my head. And I know I'm not the only one. You know, Kyle also struggles with the overthinking and the anxiety, and I know a lot of people do, and a lot of people that are watching right now. And this is why I wanted to share this. I've been really trying to watch my overthinking lately and work on bringing myself back to the present moment and focusing on one thing at a time. And even this morning, I woke up at 3 and it's 5.30 now. I was able to go back to sleep, but I still woke up at 3 and my head started to worry about what I was going to say in this video. <laughs> So it just picks stuff and then gets me to worry about it. 30 years is enough. And I know after losing weight and keeping it off and working through and recovering from my emotional eating, I've been working through all the trauma and struggle from my childhood. I've been doing a lot of, Kyle and I are calling it shadow work, working through a lot of stuff. And this is the last big thing that I haven't fully worked through yet that really has been affecting my life. I know I'm strong. I know I'm stubborn. <laughs> I'm Italian and my Nona was very stubborn and I think I get that from her. So I know. I also know I'm resilient because I've bounced back from so much. And I know a lot of you out there are the same. You're strong. You're resilient. I'm getting through this. And I'm done with the overthinking and the anxiety. I made a pact to myself. This is it. I'm dropping it. I don't care how long it takes. There's no set time. I'm not going to force it because that'll just cause more anxiety. But I'm every day going to work on one thing at a time. And slowly drop the overthinking and the anxiety. And I know I can do it. I've already actually dropped a lot of it. So here is to me working through this and really freeing myself from that anxiety piece that I've had for so long. And what I want, why I wanted to share this with you guys is not only because I know a lot of people suffer with anxiety and overthinking, but if you are struggling with anything like weight or trauma, anything that you're struggling with right now. When I was at the beginning of my weight loss journey, I had so many health problems and I knew I needed to lose weight. I didn't think that I would ever get to this place where I'd lose the weight, keep it off and keep getting fit. I thought I was lost. And when I realized how much this issue was affecting my life with the anxiety, I didn't think that I could ever be free of this and work through it. But I know I've done it for so many things. I know that I can. So whatever you're struggling with, no matter how long you've been struggling and no matter how lost you think you are, you can push through this. You really can. You can free yourself, whatever it is that you want to do. You can reach your goals. You can work through anxiety. I know you can because I can and I'm doing it and we can do it together. Whatever you want to work through. If you have something you're struggling with and you want to share it in the comments, please do and know that all of us, me, Kyle, everyone watching this video, we're a team. We're doing this together and we are all capable of doing it push through, face your fears. You can do it guys. You are so worth this. I know I am too. I know I'm so much more. I'm so worthy of having a calm, quiet, peaceful head over a, a disastrous overthinking one. And I'm doing it. And I know that you guys can too. Okay. That's it. <laughs> Thanks so much for listening, for watching. I hope this really helps somebody. If you guys want to know exactly what Kyle and I ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds, we have two weight loss guides. The links are down below, exact portions, exact meal plans, family friendly recipes. We also have harder than last time supplements that we use all the time, protein powder, pre-workout. They are Greg Doucette's. The link down is also down there if you would like to get those. 
and we have a guilt-free cookbook all your favorite foods low calorie versions of your favorite foods without the calories and extra guilt and there is also the link for greg doucette's cookbooks that's where we get some of the recipes for anabolic ice cream we also have some in our guilt-free cookbook that's down there check out all the links and if you've watched some of my last videos you'll know i made a paper hundred thousand subscriber plaque help me do magic i forgot to bring it up here with me so i don't have it but like subscribe share the video if you subscribe you can turn the plaque from paper into real and do magic so <laughs> if you want to be a magician feel free <laughs> love you guys have a beautiful day I'm gonna lawnmower out very carefully because I don't want to spill the cough, aka coffee. <laughs> and of course I can't shake this beam, which is PG for YouTube because I'm sitting on it. So we're gonna wiggle the coffee mug. Shake it, shake it, shake it. <laughs> Love you guys. Peace. Hi Sassy, you're cute. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.